Hi everyone, welcome back, I'm Melissa Muir. In today's Fordham accessory video, we are going to be talking about the belt sander that is available for your number 30 handpiece. So this is a flex shaft accessory. This is a great tool, it's going to be time saving. I use it all the time for quick metal removal or sometimes even some good cleanup. It comes with a number of different gritty bands so that you can easily swap out and take things almost to uh, a pre-polish. It should go without saying, anytime you use something like this, make sure you wear your eye protection, pull your hair back, as well as a mask because you don't want to be breathing in any of the particles that are being sanded off. Now this kit includes pretty much everything you need. You can buy it with or without the number 30 handpiece, but just be aware this does fit that number 30 handpiece. It comes with a hex key for tightening things up. It also has, of course, your belt sander and the post or the peg that is going to sit into your flex shaft and hold the belt sander into place. To assemble this is pretty simple. We're going to just insert this post or stem Tighten this up with our chuck key for that number 30 hand piece. Make sure it's good and tight there. Then all I need to do is insert my belt sander onto this. Now there's a square hole in here with a matching or corresponding square post. So I'm going to take this and just make certain that we've got this all settled right, okay? And then I'll take the little hex key that is included Tighten this onto the handpiece itself. Okay, and now we are ready to go. I can now take and attach this to my flex shaft. And now I can either use this by hand or I can put this into my handpiece holder for a little more stable setting. Now each of these belts are 10 millimeters or 3 8 inch wide by 257 millimeters or 10 and an eighth inch long. Additional belts can also be purchased separately. Now I use this in conjunction with my handpiece holder. This allows me to mount this onto my desktop or bench top, anything like that. Holds everything into place, it keeps my hands free, and now I'm able to bring my piece to the belt sander itself. Now there are two different ways that this can be mounted onto here. There is a flat plate right here. So if I need to have a really good flat surface, I'm gonna work right here on this flat plate. But I can also flip this over and now I have a little bit more flexibility. This is gonna be good if I have something that's got a nice curve on it that I want to be able to really work out inside of this. So that flexibility right there is good or like I said, the nice flat surface. Swapping out a belt on this is actually very simple. It is spring loaded. So all I need to do is push this forward and I can slip it off of the wheel and then I can take my new one and put it on. Now it is directional so you want to make sure you look for these arrows on this so that you get it into the right direction and now I can just make sure that this is seated properly and there we go and we're ready to go with our new band. The belt sander includes three bands each of 100, 180, and 240 grit for your belts. Now this does have a maximum operating speed of 5,000 max, but the best or the most optimum operating speed is between 500 and 4,000 RPM. When it comes to using this, I can just take and roll my piece on here. Now it is an exposed piece of sandpaper, it is a belt sander, it is moving, so you need to make sure that you take the proper precautions to keep your fingers clear of the system, as well as anything like your hair or loose clothing, anything like that. But you'll notice that I just run this along, and here I'm using that flat plane that I showed you. I could also, because this is a rounded pendant, I could put it on that side that has a little bit less support, but in this case, I wanted to have that support. Having and sanding that, that little platform, sanding on that platform, is going to give you the ability to give a little bit more pressure. So you are going to remove things a bit more evenly and also a little faster. Now I can also do very, very small items. In this case, I'm gonna hit some fingernails on this one. I'm trying to sand down the outer edges of a bale. Very, very small. And again, I'm still able to control this. Notice that I'm holding it with both of my hands, keeping this steady and stable. So one thing you're going to want to do is make certain that you have a really good hold on the piece that you are working with, whether you use it in your hands or you choose to use some other device to hold the metal into place. 
Now the number 30 handpiece is actually quite a versatile one that has a lot of different accessories that can be used with this, including the drill press, uh, some jump ring making systems, different things like that. So in my studio, I have a number of these hand pieces and I will just leave this one mounted as my belt sander. And that way I don't have to go through setting this up every time. I did the same thing and I keep one inside of my drill press. And then all I need to do is just hook in my flex shaft and I'm ready to go. So there are a lot of really great tools that we can use with our flex shaft. And you've hopefully been enjoying the polishing portion of this series. And I hope you're excited to see some of the other accessories that we can use both with the Ford and flex shaft as well as any of their micro motors. If you have any questions, make sure you drop those in the comments. If you're enjoying the series, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe, ring that bell, and mark that you would like all notifications so you don't miss any of the series that we're doing. We we will see you guys next time. Have a good one.